J.R. Smith had uh, oh, wow. tweeted, tweeted this picture. <laughs> so uh, let's just take it back. How, how did, how did uh, you and J.R. end up meeting? Sad. Uh, six years ago, six, seven years ago, um, he had just started in the NBA. My sister was the only... So you were with Joe at the time? Yeah, I was with Joe at the time. My sister was the only chick... My, I have a, a sister who's four years younger than I am. She's the only chick um, in uh, Harlem who had a team at like a Rucker Park, kind of like a Rucker Park basketball thing. Mm -hmm. And they hooked him up with having JR play for her team. Okay. And we met and, you know, he tried to talk to me and I was involved. So I said I was involved and I wanted no part of that. Six years later, um, throughout the years, you know, he's contacted to host parties and stuff like other people can't so we could do it together. It never happened. Mm -hmm. And six years later, you know, he got back to New York from China and... He tweeted, I wonder if to hear he's a Nick fan, and I remember saying yes, and yours not so much, but it was a joke because I'm looking at it like, oh, JR! <laughs> like, six years ago, my sister, so I was like, oh, cool, he's back. Um, and I considered, go I was, I'm single, so I considered mm -hmm. going on a date, and we went to dinner. And, and that was the, the night of the, of the infamous. Hell no. Why would he tweet my butt cheeks on the first night? Okay, so what the part of the game is that, get, Vlad? It didn't get cracked in the first night. I, no, it didn't get cracked in the first night. Although I don't judge, girl. Do what you do. Um, no, it didn't get cracked in the first night, Vlad. Okay. You know, so, we did it right. We we did it somewhat right. How, how long were you guys dating by the time that picture came out? Uh, I would say three months. Three months. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and no, I'm lying. You're lying. Yeah. I'm lying. Maybe about two months and a half. Okay. Something like that. A few months. 20 motherfucking three days. I don't want to get exact because then you guys are going to be like, Terry is such a girl because I am. I write things down. <laughs> and I'll be like this like and I think about his last name. And mine is it, you know, and, and my name. But, um, and kids and stuff already. I'm a girl. Um, but yeah, something like that. So, okay. so, so, I mean, describe a relationship with JR. What's, what, what was it like? Um, JR, I think, is very misunderstood. So, you know, they give him his whole problem child thing. You know, he has the guy with the tats, you know, the things he's probably done in the media, things he's gotten in trouble for, you know. Like I said, people have this preconceived notion of who you are just by what they read or what they see. You know, he's a young kid who, um, you know, has, I, I, I mean, t this is just my, me being analytical and, and having that time that I've shared with him, which was really short-lived. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty much, you know, forced to uh, grow up really fast in that industry, the NBA. Um, and um, pretty, pretty normal, pretty normal, um, very sweet, knows exactly what to do to get a lady, um, mm -hmm. carried my bags, um, made sure I got to my flights on time, with the driver um, asked me to dress him as he's walking out, um, you know, you know, we flew out to, th you know, to a couple games and um, like it was, we, you know, we, we flew out, he flew me out to a lot of the games and he was very sweet, always on, on, on point, made sure that he landed and I got the phone call, he was on his way to wherever I was, um, very polite our first dinner date wasn't just him and I because we ran into some friends at the event and he didn't mind and he was quite a talker and I was surprised um you know smart very good son um his mom and his dad are amazing like they're very like they they really catered to him and Chris um so you know it pretty pretty normal um were you guys official and very together? very hard on himself also yeah, that's he's that's very that's hard on himself yeah. um I mean were you guys officially together or was it I would say that um, we we started we we went on that first date and the world loved it, but we also felt good and we really weren't thinking about anything but what was happening at the moment. We were team no plan. Team we would just plan. be like team no plan. Like, so what are you doing after the ball? Well, um, I like golf. So what are you doing to hear you? Well, I like I'm gonna open a bar, but at the end of the day, I'm just moving. And he's like, me too. Team no plan. So we really wasn't <laughs> thinking later. Sure. We were thinking this feels right. And you know, there were times we kind of like even when it came to being intimate, like shit, nah. I think we're gonna do it the right way and wait some more. And like it was really sweet. Mm -hmm. You know, we would. You know, it was sweet. It was. It started off as something. Well, at least for me, because people have other ways of seeing it like oh the dude just landed and he wanted you know he used you to hear he just you know got the hype and although he's a basketball player they think different and i'm like well you know to me it just felt right so i went on you've never seen me cuff anybody in public right boy i was cuffing <laughs> you were cuffing i was cuffing and at the end of the day i did it because it felt right i didn't care what anybody thought what what really caused you guys not to you know to fall out of that state again this is just me my my way of seeing things um well, the picture um, kind of put some kind of, because I don't think he thought it was going to be some, so much of a big deal. 
Really? Yeah, a professional I NBA player? Hey, you know, <laughs> one of his favorite phrases that I even now, and I'm like, dude, he's like, it's just Twitter. And I'm like, and it costs you money. Well, like, he, he got, he got a uh, fine, what, 50000 25000 25000 That he could have gave me. Damn, Cheryl. Now, um, <laughs> <laughs> can I live? Because we could have just skipped that shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, my grandmother called me. My grandmother was like, are you suing him? And I was like, I like him. So that's one of my problems, I think, about my heart. But, um... I don't think that he thought it would be a big deal due to the fact that I'm on a calendar with my butt cheeks in there like looking like my like my Mickey Mouse ears um right. you know he's looking at me in magazines and thongs so he's looking at me like you know again I don't want to sound like I'm justifying his actions but I was in a room with him and he was like he it's like he paused and looked at me like I'm like, oh my God, like I wanted to die and in two seconds he erased it. By then he was like, you're not kidding. He's like, I mean, like you have, I have 278 hits to hear. And I'm like, dude. And he was just like, like it was kind of for fun. And yeah, maybe for Joe, like, yeah, nigga, your bitches in my, you know, it was whatever it was that it was immature of him. <laughs> no, it was, no, maybe he was just like, maybe he, no, it could have been like, I'm excited. Like six years later. That ass is here. Or it could have been like, yeah, Joe, keep popping that shit because you're fucking being a menace. It could have been anything. could have been like, yo, dumb cheeks is, she's on the cover. Yeah, that's that cover chick. It could have been whatever it was. At the end of the day, it was wrong. I was hurt. But I'm not saying that he wasn't, he sat in that room and I remember that he was feeling it just like I was. So, so you didn't know what was happening until afterwards? I'm sitting with him, we're jamming. We're watching Chris play. At the mm -hmm. time, Chris is in college. He's like, and I'm like, dude, the screen can't hear you. Chris can't hear you. And then it's kind of like we always went tit for tat for stuff. We played around a lot. And um, I think he did it like, yeah, watch this. And I remember him chuckling. And I was like, let me see that phone. And then that's what I was like. So, yeah, I cried for two days. And he was there. And he was, you know, he was very, like, Fucked up about it too. He, he, I think he then realized, oh my God, I got into some trouble. Mm. And he also apologized and 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 yeah. said that he really didn't wasn't trying to hurt me. And so, so, so you think that the, the picture kind of uh, I think the picture had something to do with it because after that, then we started to fade a little bit more. And the fact that you know, remember, he comes from Denver. Denver, he went to China. China, he's in New York. New York is a way completely different market. Mm -hmm. You know, you go from, you know, just being at, you know, a thousand basketball players fly in and out of New York and nobody really cares what they wear or how they look or what sneaker they got on. Um, JR has, you know, that charisma and now he's into this whole, you know, social media situation. You're dating this girl whose ex-boyfriend is right. And it's, it was just so much drama. And then you're in a club, people start to pay attention. You're great at basketball. So now you're, you're looked at as, you know, in addition to the Knicks. So, you know, with all the hype, you know, maybe he just forgot about the girl on the couch that he was laughing with watching ESPN and, and watching the, 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 the 10 hottest dunks of the night. Let's just say he fell in love with the life. Yeah. Or maybe he didn't like me that much. But what's not to like, really? <laughs> but fine, you know, I'll take it. Um, I, I, I think he's, he's great. He's young and he's doing what a man's supposed to do at his age. But what was the most extravagant thing that the JR did for you? You know, because you're talking about, I mean, I, I don't know exactly <laughs> when he's a multimillionaire, I assume. And you know what I mean? Extravagant. Um, we were just normal people. No, so you didn't no. buy a car. No, we Not were dating like, for know, four months and I, jewelry, and I never it. even, I never even, you know, cause of course you can be a diva and say, send me a car because I need a car to get to and from. Um, we were just regular, re two regular people. Like um, mm -hmm. You know, everybody they don't want, they don't want people to know it's fake. And I know you wasn't born with that ass. Have you seen Coco's before pictures? Where that ass was flatter than a pancake? You're gonna try to deport me over entertainment videos that I had. Kia Worldstar make a statement that it was only publicity 